Alright guys, they're playing some Shen top lane. We're playing Shen this time versus a set. And what we have is Grasp, Shield Bash, a Bone Plating, Revitalize. They were also running Cheap Shot and they were also running specifically Ultimate Hunter. Now this game we're going to be 1v9ing with Shen into a very hard matchup. We're actually running into a counter matchup right now. However, if we play this properly, we should be okay. I'm not expecting a uh, really bad time. Is that the early game can be quite rough, but if we play consistent and we play well, I'm expecting a good run. Let's see here. Seth is basically strong level 1, so we're going to have to give him the level 1 in his favor. There's not much we can do about it. I could technically hit my Q and hit the Grass proc and then try and like win the level 1 straight away. Can be quite hard to do if he, if he hits the stun. With little tempo, he will actually outbeat me. Right. Usually, most of the set players will tend to run Conquer. And uh, Lethal Tempo is completely different. If you run into one of these people, you don't want to fight level 1. No stun so far. Great. We're having a Kane going top. It's not really recommended. I'm going to ping him away. This is not a good jungle gank. Because the wave is way too stacked at the moment, it's it's a pretty bad one. It's better if he backs off and ganks somewhere else. Good. I am so happy that my jungle walked away there, man. This uh, this set is playing with ignite. That's also one thing you got to remember. Ooh, didn't get that one. So this can be quite complicated when you're when you're trying to like farm under tower. However, if you use the minions, you can get most of them. Nice stun. A good attempt. I was actually ready to hit my E right there. He was like really close to the tower, so I could have hit like uh, the first chunk of his HP bar. Uh, let's see here. Just a tiny combo. I'll hit my W, perfect timing. Just like that, we back off. That's basically where the problem is at. So if you go for a really clean trade into Scent, he will always follow up with W afterwards. His W is absolutely terrifying because it does like, a lot of damage. Again, like he's really low HP, but if I jump into him right now and I don't use my W correctly, he will actually end up winning the 1v1 because he can literally just uh, drop his W down. I will drop my E once he goes to the last hit. I need my grass brock ready though. Nice. Anti flashes away. So I purposely called out my Q to move forward because that way I can draw his attention and make him flash. Because he would probably think that I'm going to flash as well, but I end up like not doing that. So right now we have flash advantage. The next time we're going to be fighting him. We can outplay his W and probably win the 1v1 against them very easily. So while I could have like flashed forward and tried like beating him, he had his W available, so there was no chance for me beating him. That was too difficult to do. The only thing we gotta do right now is ensure that this wave is gonna get under tower and then being able to buy new items. That's like a clear disadvantage that we have at the moment. Hopefully he doesn't get to freeze the wave right now. Like, I'm uh, slightly worried about this. Okay. Nice, he's not freezing the wave. Okay. So, the first thing that we are going to buy is we are specifically going to be building hard steel. I also really like the idea of going with Sunfire straight away. However, it's not really always a recommendation it really depends like the difference between heart steel and uh, sunfire is that heart steel you typically build it when you're already winning lane or when you're doing really well if you're losing lane very hard i always encourage people to go for sunfire instead it's just a better optimal way of playing lane gets you more um however right now we're chilling we're having a good time i think we might even get a kill right now i don't think he has a ward Nice, there's the stun. Nice, 
Nice. Drops that one down. That's okay. My W got messed up because of it. Smart choice to do that. I hope that my jungle is going to back off the entire way. I don't want to press my R for this moment. Well, there goes my flash. <laughs> Honestly, I, I absolutely don't like that I flash right there. I wanted to force a fight, but he reacted really early. So just let him go. Would have been the more optimal way of playing it. He will get the play no matter what. That's like one of the problems with the matchup. Um, this guy is able to, you know, R himself out of my W. So that doesn't work the way how I want. Uh, walk away from it. And now we go in. Nice. My uh, brand is getting the kill. I'm fine with that. I purposely walked away. Now, if you paid attention, right? I missed my E, which is fine. Because he had nowhere to go, right? But if I actually all in right there, and I decided to go back into him after missing my E, I would 100% die. 100%. I have no flash at the moment. I had no E. If he, uh, The more damage he takes, the more damage he's going to do with W. So there's absolute zero chance of me potentially being able to turn it. And knowing that Brand is up there anyways, I can just walk away and let my Brand take care of things, right? Let's go for Kindle Gen. Let's go for one potion. Now, now we get into a really interesting topic that I always like to talk about with, with Shen. So, a mistake that a lot of Shen players tend to make is they press R in the worst possible moment. Exactly when the lane is in a miserable spot, right? So, our main focus right now, um, next to like winning lane obviously, is that we're gonna be using my, my R aggressively in the right moment, not the wrong moment, okay? So what we're gonna be focusing on is trying to push down the wave under tower or try and get it into a really good position and then pressing R. So rather than pressing it in the worst possible moment when it's like pushing in my direction, we're gonna be using it aggressively to get a kill somewhere else. That's what I would always encourage people to do. Never play it in the worst moment. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you a perfect example of how it's being used. So no worries. Seems like Seth is trying to rotate. Unfortunately, losing farm again. This matchup is absolutely ridiculous um, in certain ways. Because you always get pushed in by Seth. That grows my ultimate. Couldn't use my ultimate. Kind of regret it. Was hoping he would live, but he just got absolutely bursted. This set seems to be using his brain because he's actually going for the blade build. Smart decision to do so. Oh, we need to walk away from it. We're about to get ganked by uh, by Echo. Nice. This is not bad. Let's take another ruby crystal. And we walk back. Now, you might probably be noticing something here, right? So, normally when you're playing Shen, there's a lot of times where uh, going into Steel Caps early on is actually really good, right? If you go Steel Caps, you're likely to have a much better lane than normally, right? But this time, we're just rushing hearts as fast as possible. The reason why I do it is, is because like the faster we rush it and we ignore boots in this matchup, the faster we scale. That's literally the main reason why. So my lane is slightly weaker. Since we don't have steel caps. But uh, in return we get hard steel fast. We can start building into Tiamat. For the Titanic Hydra, Hydra at some point. And Bami Cinder. I'm going to place that down. I'll see if I can tank the wave. So I can use this wave to deny him a full wave afterwards. There you go. Walk in the brush. Make sure that the minions like stop focusing me by entering the brush. Really simple. This wave is now killing off this wave, so it's gonna expand my lead a little bit. As he's no longer getting all of the XP here. I'll lose that one, but that's okay. He will probably get a plating here. 
but he actually did lose all of the XP, so it's not that bad. Hmm. I think I might even be able to, like, uh, E him on Retire, maybe. It's getting close. So we're trading plates, but in return, he lost all of the XP before. So it's not exactly more worth it for him. Oh, this time he's gonna die. I use my E as late as I possibly can. For better positioning for my jungler. Walk away. Let's let my jungler take care of things. I didn't want to flash. I am not happy with this. I'm gonna be asking my jungler to push this out. The faster the lane pushes right now, the more ideal it's gonna be for me. So I need this guy to continue pushing. I don't care if he takes the farm, just push it. Junglers are scared to take the farm. Just take it if I'm too slow, man. It's always better if, if the, the faster the lane pushes, the better it is in this case. <clears throat> okay, now we have hard steel. There you go. And we walk back. So you can see we constantly need to deal with... Um, I might ult for this. Yep. Perfect timing. Oh, he just walked back in there. Too bad. Perfect ultimate. He just had to walk slightly backwards so that he doesn't take the auto. And then I would be able to get up there and kill them. It's fine, though. Two of my ultimates got completely cancelled because they got burst in. Hmm. It's okay. So you can see now, we're level 10. He is level 9. And the only reason why it's like that is because through the wave management and taking the right decisions, we've been able to make a lead against him. So you can see my farm is not exactly the best, right? It all came down to the matchup. There's not much we could have done about it. But the decisions we've made so far has led to us getting an XP lead. And it's going to allow us to um, snowball the rest of the game soon. There is no dispute. Cannot wait to get my uh, ultimate back, man. It's like 80 seconds. But yeah, I would say like this, this game is a... What? What is that? Alright. I was like tapped. Well, let's force this in as fast as we can. If I only knew that sooner, man. <laughs> it is so weird. Taking tower is not exactly very optimal. As you can see, it's going to take a really long time. He's got blade right now. This is the biggest problem of the matchup. When he gets blade of the rune king, it's literally a direct counter to my champ and to my build. So now is the hardest part of the lane, I would say. Once we progress through this part of the matchup, things will only get better from now. I'm gonna fall for the bait. Nice. Miss my E again. Walk away. Most important. Walk away if you miss it. Don't keep tanking the autos. Terrible mistake that a lot of people tend to do. You can see he's got a lot of damage. So there's no reason for us to go back in, in back into him. Perfect. I've got my ultimate back. I'm gonna take tower. Maybe. He can turn around. Sure. I'll walk up to this guy now. Ooh, he gets wrecked. Not bad. It's likely he will get away. It's better if he backs off. He's gonna get kited down. It's not gonna be worth it. It's not going to be worth it. Uh, it's going to die. There's lots of overextending this game, which I'm not happy with. Again, I, I pressed my R for Brand to go in. It's okay if it didn't happen. I was going to move on Echo and then kill him instead. It was like perfectly planned out, but... Unfortunately, the Echo just flashed away from, uh, from my E, so that didn't apply. Not the, you know, not, it's not really ultimates this game that I'm proud of so far. 
But my ultimates hasn't led to me falling behind so far, so it's okay. As long as my ultimates don't make me fall, make me fall behind further, then uh, we should be okay. What was that on push? Remember, this guy is running Blade of the Rune King in combo with Lethal Tempo, so his all-in is straight up counters me. Still won't change, but we're getting to a point now where I'm building into Titanic Hydra and Sunfire. And once I have these items, then 1v1ing this guy is going to be 10 times easier. I've got my ultimate back in 45. Hopefully... My teammates will have a good time with the dragon. I'm unable to move at the moment, as if I leave this this wave behind, my game is going to be miserable against Set. Seems like it got stolen away. Oh, they don't overextend too much. Set does not seem to move just yet. So they might be lucky here. No, oh, it is what it is. This is a tough game, so far. But this game looks 100% winnable, literally. I'm glad I got teammate right now, it just makes the game so much better. Good. I'm able to move to Kane. No, yeah, he can go in if he wants. Yep. I'm, I position myself on the left side on purpose. Just in case he might press R. There you go. That's another one. So, we managed to push in the entire lane. We got tower. We got all the farm. Now we also ult and we catch this set as well. It's like one of the best things that could have happened. And maybe, if we're really lucky, we might also not get that guy. Okay. It's fine. Now, one thing is very important. We're going to make sure that we actually get my boots. I'm probably going to end up going for... Um, Bammy Cinder real quick, just to get the effect. And then just building into tier 1 boots. And into a blue trinket. I'm purposely going Bammy Cinder for the effect. This will help this will allow me to have the extra damage as well while getting slightly more tanky. And then we're gonna complete the Titanic Hydra. Again, bro, usually when I see games like this, I'm like it's like slightly worrying seeing these fights happen, but so far I I I don't know man. I'm chilling. I'm not that scared. This game seems to this game seems really good to me. Despite my teammates making some uh, some mistakes here. It's all good with me. Got my proc. We back off. Remember, right? What I told you guys before. Blade of the Rune King, Lido Tempo. That combo is really broken. If you're running hard steel, it's a direct build to my build. So, you just proc the thing. You walk away. That's what you do. He will win if he, if he goes for the completely land. That's how the build works. The build's designed that way. Seems like Brand's about to die. Now it's a good time to be a little bit careful. I wonder where Seth's gonna be. I have my ult in like five. I hope that. Yeah, okay. This is really good. So we draw the attention of Seth right now. Uh, to be here. Now all I have to do is press R on the right time. I'm gonna get cancelled. Oh, he messed up pretty badly. Yep. And we get another one. So this is basically how you use the Shen ultimate aggressively, right? So you're drawing the attention of your opponent. You ensure that that guy is with you. Especially when they're running Ignite. Or they don't have Teleport. And then the very second that something happens in the game, you press R, you turn it into a 5 against 4, and you win it. That's one of the best and like biggest advantages you can ever get. You have an ultimate. This is basically a teleport, but it, it's, it's everything combined into one, right? It's what you're consistently doing. 
So again, right now, we don't have ultimate. We are split pushing anyways because there's no objectives. We're preparing for the dragon. Um, hopefully my teammates don't make a big mistake right now of dying. Dragon spawns at 35, so if my teammates were to die right now, it would be uh, a pretty bad problem. Okay, we walk up here. We push as fast as we can. Right now, we have no other option other than to back. We must back right now. Because the ultimate is 50 seconds. The dragon spawns in 10. And the enemy jungle is topside. So he's going to move too. We also need to move. I'm going to go for specifically steel caps. Um, because even though they have a bunch of AP, we need to be able to 1v1 this guy later on in the game. Again, my teammates are making 2 million mistakes. They're dying way too much. Right when the dragon is nearby. So. Now I'm getting slightly worried. People are dying too often. Nice. The echo is currently up here. I don't think we can catch him, but we'll give it a try. They probably know we're on the way here. Yep. Got him. I need to press R for him, otherwise he will die. Got him too. You see? I purposely stay behind the wall. And then not showing where I am. And then waiting for my teammates to move up. Worked really well. And then I use my ultimate in the middle of the team fight just to save my ADC from dying. Worked really well. Now maybe we're able to get this guy too. That would be awesome. Yep, another one. Fantastic. And maybe we can also go for a couple jungle camps. Maybe. First, he needs to shove the wave in so that they lose more. And my teammates will have to take care of mid lane. I can't move to mid lane right now. I need to push this wave under tower. We got 2.1k gold. That's a lot. And let's go back. There's no objective. I need to run, in fact, because they're actually chasing me down interesting hey suja thank you for the two months resub bro thank you for the resub prime man i appreciate it thank you so much uh, let's go for armor so again lots of armor you might think like why armor right if they have an echo way and then also felcos well the reason why is simple i need to be able to consistently 1v1 set despite him going blade I need to stay strong. Otherwise, the pushing won't work. Got another catch. And then I get CC. Oh, that's a lot of damage right there. And I think, in fact, he will try <laughs> something. I don't know. Yeah, we will have to go for MR at some point now, because they're doing a lot of damage. Specifically, Huwei is doing a lot of damage. Way more than Falcos ever will. Hmm. I got my R already. Wish I would have used it on the cane. We gotta get back to the sidelines again. But can't do it just yet. I think they're probably going for a Baron right now. They're not. Okay. Got the wave. I'll take like one more. We need to be in bot lane, like preferably. That would be the best. But Dragon spawns at like 1 min 40. Gotta get that in my mind too. I miss my E right there. That would have been fantastic, man. Not getting him, unfortunately. It's better if I'm when we doesn't jump on it. 
It's not really a good idea. We have Jin Tob, Kane, bottom jungle. They're looking for a fight. It's not really going the way how I want to. They're grouping for dragon, which is not very good. Their their team fighting is really strong at the moment. Again, it would be far better if we were on the sidelines right now, being able to push. But the dragon is already spawning in 45. Well, we might get one. Never mind. He managed to make it out. Yeah. This game is very difficult. This game is very, very, very difficult. Slightly worried about about this one right now. Having a good time, but my uh, my teammates are getting wrecked at the moment. Wish that the setup was slightly better. Um, last team fight. I uh, can't continue to push one more. I need like one, uh, I need like less than 200. That jungle camp is not going to be enough. I'll sell my D shield. Okay, got it. So next item is definitely going to be an item towards MR. Like I'm thinking towards the direction of going for a uh, force of nature, but we can also, uh, we have like plenty of options. Apis of Mask, we have um, Spear of Arch is not recommended. <laughs> stone Plate is also really nice. I like Stone Plate a lot. But Force of Nature is the perfect item. Kind of depends, really. Yep, that guy goes down. Fortunately, though, they are going Baron, so... This team fight is uh, important. Walk away. Whew. All right. We have ultimate available too. I'm kind of glad with how team fights are going. Like, we managed to make it out each time without MR items at the moment. Hmm. Okay, let's get that item that I deserve right now. I need to get some MR. MR is top priority. I can't go without it right now. They have far too much damage, especially talking about Huwei. Like, this guy's got uh, Rabidans, Lyandry, Shadow Flame. I suppose he's probably building into Void Staff right now, which would be an absolute nightmare for me, I but... um. We'll see. Hopefully we get to 1v1 set right now, because I think I should be capable of beating him 1 versus 1 despite him having blade. My build should be pretty good for this. Maybe in terms of a long all-in. Maybe not, but... My ultimate's ready too now. Got everything set up. Nice. I cast my R even though he actually did it himself completely. I wanted to ensure that he's actually going down. Huh. Walked out of vision. Got a ni another nice setup. Okay. They're still chasing down. I don't like that very much. Grab the wave. Well, this game is going absolutely fantastic right now, despite all the bad team fights we've seen so far. It's going, it's going pretty well. Got my ult back in 55. 
Again, I can't continue to split push right now because the main objective on the map right now is Baron. If that thing goes down, then the game will end very, very, very fast. We need to make sure that this Baron is um, staying where he is. So if my ultimate is about to get up, it's good to be on the side lanes and prepare myself for the 1v1 against set and then being able to ult. But if I don't have my ultimate, it's like on a 40 second cooldown. It's better if I stay with the team instead. Because if I'm like, I'd be trolling if, I, if I'm if i bottling without being able to move. This is a really, 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 really good team fight right now. If we can force something right now, we win. Because Caitlyn is bot lane, okay? This Caitlyn is completely in the wrong side. I'm gonna force. Nice. I have a little bit of a problem here. GG. See what I did? I pay attention to where their ADC is the very second I noticed. Oh, that Caitlyn is trolling. So she was in bot lane farming. Absolutely terrible. Really bad mistake. Let's see if we can do this. And then she finally walks up right at the end after my full engage. And then we just catch Caitlyn immediately. Which is, it's going to turn to a Baron right now. That's awesome. I have to walk out. I think I'll still make it. That Caitlyn made a bad mistake. Really bad mistake. The dragon's also up. I think that my teammates might be able to take the dragon. I'm just going to be pushing top. I hope that maybe they can do it. Uh, Way still dead for 15. Nice. Yeah, my teammates should have this one. Echo is still in mid lane. Good. We've got that one. The last item that I think I might consider buying, we can either go into the direction of this one, or we can decide to go into the direction of Thormel. I really like Thormel this game, partially, because of some of the some of the healing they have. Um, but more importantly, Caitlyn and Sed, they're both doing a lot of damage. If I go Thormel, I stand a better chance of one v one Sed towards late game. Oh. Okay. Well, he ran off that direction. He's gone. Hmm. Oh, looks like she figured out. I got my ultimate. Uh, Jin is not necessarily at risk. I have my R available. If he goes too far, then I'll be able to help him out. Yeah, there it is. Tough one. We should be able to dive these people. Well, never mind. I'm not getting anywhere close for my E. Uh, let's move top real quick here. We need to push in uh, top far enough. Draw them out of that position. And I just need my HP back. I'd like to see that Seth's currently in mid lane. Maybe we can draw him out here. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got him. And maybe we're lucky enough to, that we can actually catch Caitlyn with my E as well. You never know. You never know. Maybe she will walk up. Maybe I'm super wrong. And she won't. Turns out that she didn't. 
<clears throat> okay. Well, it's time to go balling. I do have my ult in seven. Ah, oh, too bad. Yeah, that Kaylin is pretty massive, man. She's going full lethality, so her damage is kind of ridiculous. It's to be expected. This is what happens. Look at this, man. I need like 500 more. Let's grab the other one, too. Dragon spawns in 1 minute 35. So the best position for me to be in right now would be in top. So I'm actually just going to move top. Let's forget about the jungle camp. The dragon spawns in 125. So the most ideal way to play this out right now, knowing that this guy does not have teleport, is to be topside, push this out all the way, and then hopefully uh, being able to ult into the other direction. I'm going to E up here. I want this Caitlyn to be here. I hope that she will be. If Caitlyn stays up here, I win. Because then I can turn it into a 5 against 4. Let's, uh, let's find out if she makes the same mistake twice. So two of them are mid. There's two people toppling. Okay, nice. Three people, in fact. Okay, that's amazing. That's exactly according to what I want. Nice. Our wills amazing. Two people showing. Okay, so they are moving at the end. Well, we might be lucky. I really hope that we will find someone up here. I hope. Let's find out. Will someone fall for it? Well, amazing. I'm getting stuck here. Hold on. And we got it. Perfect. So we got another dragon. The next objective is 100% going to be Baron. Like, Baron is the top priority right now. Caitlyn's balling. We're uh, full build. I can't ping anymore. Thank you, game. League of Legends. Why can't I ping? Am I seriously pinging that much? I need to ping that much. My teammates need to know. I love when Riot, like... Disables your ping if you ping too much. It makes no sense. I need to call my team to do something. This just makes no sense in my opinion. This is a terrible call. I'm gonna ping them away. Unless... Never mind. It's gonna work. This will work. Uh, guys, gotta finish. We could have, we could have finished this ages ago. Okay, got it. Nice. It should have been done ages ago. I wish I could R the other guy. That Baron should have done ages ago. What? Let's... Yeah, let's. He can just push. I, I got my R anyways. This game is difficult, man. Like, we are pushing this game so far to the limits. With the way how we're playing. But it's just not enough, man. We're pushing it extremely far. From the shadows. Okay, I have, an, I have a plan. Two minute, 54 dragon. Let's just push this out the entire way. I'm going to hope that we might see Set uh, facing off against me. If that's the case, then... Um, we, can we can easily 1v1 that guy, 100%. 
And uh, we can also rotate with R. And Jin's going top. I need I need people to group mid lane and push. That's the solution this game. I can't make the jump because I know that there's probably other people maybe. They know. There's two people in bot lane. My teammates should be winning right now because I can turn to a five against three. This should be winnable. This should be winnable. It should be. No, you're walking the other direction. No. Oh, that was easily predictable, man. You could have known that. You could have known it. They were all walking from that direction. Ah, man, this game is so unbelievably hard to play out because, like, we play it pixel perfect. Seriously. Like, we're in bot lane right now. We're facing off two people at the same time. That means that there's four people in mid versus three people. So if I press my R from this direction to this direction, it will turn into a five against three. It went according to my plan. We killed the other guy. But you know what happened? My support with 400 HP decided to walk in the enemy jungle into the direction they're coming from. So it's instantly back to four against four again. Like, that's not what I wanted. Just run mid push. So we, we play it like pixel perfect, but so far it's like, yeah. It's not going according to what we want. Um, we'll keep that for now. I need to buy another potion. I'm seriously, I'm either thinking about going for Abel's Mask. Or I'm like thinking about going for Stone Plate. Press on. Uh, we have to deal with top now. I really like this item in specific. Wait a second. I can't press my R no Momo. Okay, now I will. Hmm. Too hard to play out. Maybe Kane can clean. Let's walk away. It's being played so bad. Everything. Everything is played so bad. Hmm. Maybe we could do like a flash play. Yep. I think I might still go on a flash play anyway. Ooh, he gets away anyways. Alright. Oh, nice. Okay, the catch goes. Okay, was according to the plan. Nice. Now we just need to push this out. Force them again next time. The inips are definitely, like, kind of, uh, kind of trolling us right now. I'm thinking towards going for... What? <laughs> you blocked the damage. Hmm. 
this game is messed up. <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna not go for this one. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for stone plate. There you go. Okay, we're absolutely maxed out right now. I'm gonna try and tank up as much as I can using this. Let's see if it's gonna work. Press on. And then firstly, we have to... Need to get my potion back too. And my R is 55 seconds. Hey, there's a there's an echo in Bali. Okay. Well, it's perfect to see an echo in Bali. My R is still 45. Hmm. There is no Yo, we should be doing this. Echo is in bot lane? Trolling? Oh, uh, my teammate just got caught right now in the worst time possible. Okay. Well, we've got what we were looking for. We got it back anyways. We don't have a choice. Uh, top lane's getting shoved in too much. And we're back to being maxed out again. Can't wait for the inhibs to come back. Seriously, man, having the inhibs by my uh, by our side would be appreciated. Mm, that should be one. Still got stone plate. I think they can see where I am. Yeah. Oh, back to taking the wave. I'm really curious somehow about the damage charts, maybe. Like, I, I really want to see the damage uh, charge. <laughs> see what it's like. They're mid laners in bot lane, but I suspect that they have teleport. That's why he's up there. And hips are back. This is the best possible moment to all in. Hmm. I don't think they read less that we have our genre up there. Hmm. Still got my stone plate. Nice. Okay. This game is unplayable. We're like pushing the game to the limits. Absolutely pushing the game to the limits. Like I'm playing it like absolutely as pixel perfect as I possibly can. And yet it's just not enough. Just not enough the entire game. Every time we're so close and then like one guy just walks the other direction and dies. And like now we're, we've, we've reached a point where the enemy team is all full build. Like it's it's very unfortunate. Such a fantastic game, but it's like impossible to win those team fights. I think that the game might be over. Let me just drag the wave maybe. It's going to probably work. It's going to do the job here. Hmm. Ah. Yeah. Too bad, I guess. My E is four seconds. Yeah. Oh man, such an annoying game, but it was it it, it was a it was a really interesting game, anyways. An absolute massive one v nine. Was awesome to play out. But uh, either way, this is Shantop. Thanks so much for watching. See the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.